Yo my people and what is good, welcome back to the channel. First and foremost I want to big up all of you lot for the new year, man. big year 2023. So let's leave it. The little missus in season right now, she's not having the nappies boy. I beg you don't buy it off please because that's the third one I put on, I beg you. You're going to leave it on yeah? You lot man, year 2023 I'm praying all of you lot have a good year, start the year strong, good health, the strength and guidance that you need to go and achieve all the things that you want to go and achieve so yeah man obviously it's not going to be an easy run you know how it is you know what this thing called life is like there's going to be a bag of obstacles but keeping that in mind right yeah man make the year a good one you get me so and i know you lot are probably like bro forget all of that yeah where the hell have you been busy i've been busy i've been busy prior to the new year moving apartments obviously i'm back in london town now moving my things from my apartment there I was busy with work, traveling back and forth from Germany. Yeah, busy with that. And then obviously coming into the new year, Christmas period, spending it the right way with family. My important ones recharging. I'll be covering two things in this video. One of them being training with throughout the week in the gym. So that ranges from hypertrophy, functional training and resistance work. Everything that I basically need to do to stick to my goals, physically, aesthetically for work and performance wise as well. And my training in regards to endurance also. So increasing my performance on runs, increasing my performance aerobically as an athlete in general. And also I'm gonna be running you lot through my mobility routine, which is a major, major, major key. It's just as major as what the training is because without that, which I've learned the hard way, going through enough injuries, that is a big importance when it comes to training. So I'm gonna be running you lot through that one as well. What I do before the gym, before runs and there's dedicated mobility days which will be a bit more in depth but I'm going to run you through the overall mobility session so you can put this in before your session after your session and have your body just feeling a few more ready for the work that we're about to put in so tuning into the video we're back man we are back and man's got a new camera so come on you know how to come back on a different thing at the levels is how to get lift up quickly so enjoy the video man into this video everyone that tuned into the last video got something like five and a half gay views or something and that is just mad love <laughs> pattern so let's dive right into this then man so basically i'm going to be running you through a seven day training split which is including my hypertrophy training functional training resistance work and basically just what i do to stick to my goals and continuing to keep progressing onwards um so let's just get into this quickly and smoothly. So basically each day has two components, one of them being the main gym session, which will be consisting of resistance and functional work, body weight movements, things like that. And on the aerobic and endurance, this will vary from running, I might be on a rower, I might be on a ski urge. I, well, I'll explain it a bit more as we get into that. So day one, which is a Monday, is a push day so this will basically be exercises that are hitting the chest area of triceps and shoulders this is hypertrophy of course because i do not lift for strength because if i was lifting for strength like i used to the sideline would be putting on would be yeah horrible so yeah that's a push day and that's got a lot of volume in it and then for my endurance work it's an easy run so that's between 7 to 10k just easy when i say easy run if people are oh, easy run and then i say 7k they're like when I say 7 to 10k, they're like, huh? You mean it easy? Not necessarily the distance. Well, the distance is, for me, this is personally for me, by the way, distance is easy, but the intensity that it's at is to be able to just have a conversation that I'm having with you lot now, basically. So that's the Monday. On the Tuesday, it's pool focused. This is resistance and functional. The functional just being muscle ups, which is the main sort of functional movement within that. And then basically the exercises that will be targeting back biceps. Um, rear delts so conditioning work throughout our session will be on the ski urge wednesday legs <sighs> yeah legs and conditioning um so the conditioning this day will be skipping just for the sake of i don't want to be putting too much pressure on my knees knowing that i've got 
but I've got the next day best for me to place this here. And for me personally, skipping still does good when it comes to staying lean. And if you get a blowout from that, so yeah, skipping. The leg exercises will consist of squats, lunges, walking lunges, extensions for the hamstrings, and so forth. Thursday is an upper body session, which will basically be a mixture of push and pull exercises combined into one session. So it might be a compound exercise or an exercise like a dumbbell press superset with a body weight movement just to get a good burnout. So maybe decline parallel press ups, or it might be rows for a pull in motion into pull ups and things like that. That's just a quick example. Um, and then after that, it's tempo runs. Bro, when I tell you tempo runs is my least favorite day in the week, I mean it because I don't even know why. Bro, I do know because it's horrible, it's horrible, but it's the most beneficial, so it's got to get done. And then that will probably be on a treadmill just to take away that risk factor of having any impact on the knees, even though it's still having impact, it's just less than what the road running will be. Friday, mixed modal session, which will be a functional session. So this might be an EMOM workout, this might be an AMRAP workout, basically targeting multiple areas of the body um, with a variety of exercises. Um, some of the exercises may be aerobic within themselves or physically and aerobically taxing. For example, a burpee, devil press, burpee box jumps, things like that, just more functional movements exercises in there like ski edge, double unders or the row etc it's friday on saturday saturday i basically just go with whatever i want to go with that's just basically a freestyle day it could be an active rest day majority of the time this day specifically core and then mobility as well hitting a few accessories might do a bit of bicep and work on some handstand work as well Sunday is the long run day, so this will vary from go from 15 to 21k, easy-ish pace. Be a test to see how good we're feeling from the tempo runs beforehand in the week. See if we made any progress. Really, again after that, so I can set myself up for the week, so I'm feeling as patterned as possible going into that. And the reason I put a run on the Sunday, hey. Don't be kicking that off, you know. It's because mentally for me, the darkest bit of work that I'm going to be doing on the Sunday, mentally for me, once I've done that and any obstacles that life wants to throw in the way of my during that next week, mentally I'm sort of prepared as to say, yeah, I've done the hardest thing already, it's out of the way, so quick roundup of my seven day split, so take in what you can from now, people. So my people, I'm going to be running you through my mobility routine. This is what happens before a training session. And I'm going to run you through what I do before a run just to get the legs loose, feeling fresh. Of course, after leg days, this is definitely needed on the runs. Just get that recovery in and perform good on the runs and then being able to come back good for when we're training the lower body. And just keeping everywhere functional, loose and feeling good. We don't want to be in the gym feeling tight. So first one, we're going to start with this angle in your leg, 90 degrees, working on the glutes and your hips. And coming across, aim is get this hand with the opposite leg across the body. You can feel that stretch all in the glute on the left side. There, we're going to do that on both sides. You'll get a feel for it. You want to be doing it for ideally at least a minute on each side. When you're doing these exercises, you really want to work on the breathing and focus on loosening it up. You can't do that within 20 to 30 seconds, so spend a good amount of time on it. Then coming into hands, shoulder widths apart, one foot place next to it, keeping your back leg straight. This arm on the same side as your leg. We're trying to get that elbow into your foot. So coming all the way down, keeping that knee outwards, like we would on a squat, gripping the floor with your foot, in and open all the way up and back in. Your pinky toe, your big toe and your heel they're the three major points that we're going to use to grip the floor tight. That is what causes the knee to then grip on the floor and the knees coming out and not here. That's how we cause problems with the knees. That's that one there. Then, my least favourite one, right? Feet placed here on your knees, working our way back. Don't worry if you can't go that far back at first. We want it to be relaxed in this position, so working our way back. Once you feel it, get a bit looser. 
that's when you can then work your way back a bit more, opening up that hip flexor. Then eventually, let's see if I can get there today. Dog. Nah. Yo. It's not happening to me. From there, working on the hamstrings. Leaning forward, this is just relaxed as well. You don't want to be forcing it too much. Deep breaths and bringing in the lower part of your core to really be able to dig deep into this stretch. As I say with the other ones, even if you're starting off at here, with this stretching thing, you have to have patience, trust me, because it doesn't come overnight. Like anything in this world that we're in, we're trying to level up, nothing comes overnight. So keep patient with it. You may be starting here, you may be starting here, but just keep working on it. And eventually you will be able to just get lower and lower week by week, day by day. Then, feet apart. What I do with this is either get the foam roller that you have or get a roll box or anything you have that you can do a rolling motion with. Have that in front and progressively just work your way as far as you can. Bring yourself back up, catching your breath. Going further and further each rep. Once we've done that, work on stretching out our lats. You'll feel that pull in your lat. Once your hand's here, just play around with it and you'll feel where it needs to be stretched. When you feel that tension, just hold it for a piece. Another one leading on from that is same position here, working our way around and really sitting into it. Now I'm going into the forum roll. This is a my forum roll because I left my forum roll at home. This is one of the soft ones. So I recommend getting Amazon or anything like that with the dark spikes on it. Because you see the dark of the spikes on it, the better it fits into the really digging in the muscles. These ones are good, but I don't really massage it where it needs to be. So first with these, I'll normally do this before a run, after a run or a leg session. We're going to work on the calves. Any part that you feel is tight, hold it on there. As I said, obviously, the right foam roller. There's pinpoints on there. My calves, hit my hamstrings, onto your IT band, all the way up. That goes from here, all the way up to there. So it's the, probably the most horrible one, but it's got to be done. Then we're going to go onto the front and hit the quad area. From there, we're going to roll out the glute area. So you face up, leg across, work it in around there. Then I go onto my lower back. I even do this. Bring my arm out and get it up on. You can even get your lap on this as well. So that is my mobility routine wrapped up. As always, big up me not for tuning in. Twice as hard, twice as good. Stay for everyone finished. And make sure you stay up for the next video because it is coming sooner than you think. Big love as always, my people.